Hey guys, it's Otameina. Um, so there's this topic that's been kind of going on in my mind recently. Well, not recently, but it's been kind of like prevalent and kind of like a thing that's been always kind of happening throughout these years or throughout the time that I've been in social media. So um, as you guys already kind of see the title, um, relationships and social media whatever um, and it's just it kind of it's something that really gets on my nerves a little bit um, and I don't want to like be ranting or I don't want to offend people because I know like this was sort of something that I did like years ago but it, it's just like I guess personal preference um, let me just skip to the point so People on social media, when they're in relationships, they always tend to talk about that a lot. So like, if you're single, you, I see a lot of people that I know complain about being single. Like, okay, there's other people being single, so it's, I don't understand why you have to complain about it, you know? I know um, for the longest time I was single, like what, five years, six years, I don't know. And like, yeah, I had moments where I would be like, oh, you know, it'd be nice to be in a relationship or have somebody that cares about me and just like, you know, have somebody there and, you know, like, but I never really like necessarily put it out there and told people, oh, I'm so single, like, this is so annoying. It's, like, I don't want to say, like, people, I, like, I was bragging about it, or, like, I was just, you know, single and happy, but I stayed quiet. And, if that makes any sense, what I'm really trying to say is, like, I didn't say anything about it. But, there's people out there, I understand, are having a hard time finding a relationship, and it's just, it sucks because it's like, don't force it. And that's just something that like, just falls into place. Like it just happens. And yeah, sometimes you have to put an effort into being in a relationship. Yeah, like we're, you know, like if you like somebody, like you gotta work your way up. But sometimes, you know, just talking to somebody and seeing that you, you click with this person it's just enough like once you realize that you click and then you start realizing like oh okay like I can see this person as like a significant other so you know it's like it, it relationships shouldn't be forced another thing is that if people are in a relationship they always talk about it like here and there like oh I love my boyfriend my boyfriend did this today the boyfriend did it and I hate it when they say the boyfriend like just just say their name you know like if you're talking about this person like you, they, you shouldn't be defining them like by the title just say their name because you know I feel like you know they're a person just... <sighs> so it's kind of annoying to me when people in a relationship end up being like oh I, the boyfriend did this the boyfriend did that my boyfriend did this for me today. I'm so happy. So, what I'm really trying to say is like, you, I feel like something like that shouldn't really be talked about. I mean, it's okay to let it known, or let it be known that you're in a relationship, but saying it all the time, just, it kind of gets repetitive and for the I don't want to say bitter, but the bitter, lonely people out there are just like, what the heck? I want to be in a relationship. Why can't I have this? And I know at one point I was bitter and I was just like, screw relationships right now. Like, I don't want to be in one. There was a point where I was like that and I would get pissed at every single thing that I would see when it comes to couples or something. And I would just be like, heh, heh, barf, you know, like, I would just be like that. 
So, for me, I would just be like, I'm in a relationship. I'm, you know, just like have one post like every, let's say like two months or something, or I don't know, just, just not every week. Because, I mean, I'm not one to jump into relationships anyway, like I take stuff seriously, but there are some people that I know that jump from one relationship to the other, so like one person will, will be in a relationship and they'll be in, in, in it like for like a month and they'll put a picture up and be like, oh my gosh, I love my boyfriend so much, I love him, he's the best, and then two weeks later they're in another relationship. You know, but, like, what, no, like, what are you, what are you doing? Just, just, what are you doing? And then another thing is just like, I, I, like, I find it kind of, I guess, ironic? I, I just, I find it so interesting that the people that I know that have been in relationships for such a long time, they don't post everything that's in their relationship. Like, I don't know, like, I just feel like that's, like, a good example to set. I know for me, like, I would like to set that good example too, but, uh, I just, I don't know, like, I just, I just know how it feels to be single and bitter and lonely, so it's just like, I don't want to brag about it, and, you know, it, to me, I, I always put it at, into this analogy, it's like the equivalent of going to the middle of a street somewhere. Like, let's say, you know, Times Square or something. And screaming out to the heavens, I'm in a relationship! Like, people are just gonna turn around and be like, what the heck? And just walk away. Like, I don't know. To me, relationships should be safe, you know, private between the two people. Or if you're polygamous, whatever. It doesn't matter if you're into being in multiple partnerships or whatever, but I feel like a relationship should be between the people that are involved. Um, I, I don't think, like, I don't know, it's just, I, I, I don't want to say I'm against it, like, having people put their, uh, their profile pictures with both, like, you know, with their significant other and them. Um, just to me, it's like, you know, you're kind of showing that, I don't know, you're, you're not your own person. Some, there's, there, don't get me wrong, but there's some people that do it just because, you know, they think, you know, like, they have a picture that's, you know, like, really cute of them. Okay, sure. But sometimes I feel like some people are kind of, like, compensating for something, or, uh, I don't know, there is something that's going on that they're trying to put pictures up just to just to make it seem like everything's okay. Now I know somebody personally, like really close family, whatever, that was like, you know, cheating on their significant other and to try to prove it to to, to the person that they were cheating on. They kept like putting pictures of them together to make it, I guess, to comp, yeah, no, yeah, to compensate, um, for what's lacking, and I, I don't think that's okay, like, how, like, I, I guess, I don't know, just saying, like, for example, people in Japan, in Japan, I've seen videos where people have talked about where they're in relationships, but when they're in public, nobody is really, like, nobody knows about it unless, like, it's that. And nobody is, like, blurting out there, like, oh, I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. And I don't think they believe PDA either or something. I don't know how that works. Um, but for me, like, that's a little bit too extreme, but the way people do it here, or in my 
culture because um, Hispanics usually like to show their affection a lot. Um, I, I like to show affection, but just not too much. I guess kind of like a moderation between the two. Like, almost basically like how everything is. It's just like, you know, in moderation. Like, I just feel like how everything, like, video gaming, being on the computer, you know, whatever. Just everything should be in moderation. Um, but I just feel like, you know, it, it's not fair to people that, you know, feel alone and are lonely and are really trying. To, to make themselves happy on their own, you know, I just feel like I just know how that feels, where like, you know, you're, you're just happy and all this stuff, but then you see relationship pictures left and right. Sometimes it's of the same person putting the same thing or putting a status saying, I miss you, and then tags them. Like, it's like, if there's other people out there that are, you know, long distance relationship. Just, it doesn't make any sense to me. It, I feel like it's it's just, you know, that's a feeling that shouldn't even, doesn't need to be progressed. But there's people out there that just feel like they need validation through social media. Um, but yeah, like, there's somebody that I know that constantly puts something up. Um, like a status or something. It'll be like, something, something, something happened. P.S. I miss my baby. And I'm just like, like, okay. I, I don't know. Like, just to me, it's just like, it doesn't make sense. Against it, like I said, like it's it's okay to do it once in a while, just not too much. Like I don't know, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of seeing. It. Um, I mean, now that like you know, I'm probably gonna get back into the swing of like going back to like, I'm going into classes again, and, um, and that should be keeping me busy and not being on social media as much for entertainment. There's funny videos in there, or whatever. Um, but I just feel like you just need to dumb it down a notch. But if you want, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. I think I've done enough talking, and I think at this point I'm rambling on. So yeah, just keep this conversation going. Let me know what what your thoughts are about relationships and social media and bragging about it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear your opinions. And don't forget to like this video if you liked what I talked about. And if you like the content that I am bringing, and if you like to see more of it, don't forget to subscribe. And share if you'd like to as well, if you would want to. So yeah. Um, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.